Eight states are gathered here today to make a joint announcement of an agreement that will, over the next few years, help usher in a new chapter in transportation for the United States. Our eight states, including California, Connecticut, Maryland, Massachusetts, New York, Oregon, Rhode Island, and Vermont, collectively agree to put 3.3 million zero emission vehicles on the roads within a dozen years. This agreement is the continuation, actually, of an extraordinary legacy of uh, California and other states working together to fight climate change that goes back uh, over 20 years. We're a big market, we're a big state, but we are also part of a whole, and it's extremely important to us that we have uh, the geographic distribution as well as the science and legal and technical acumen that these states have together. The states have done a lot already and will do more, but automakers hold the key to our success. The fact is that we have now, and we've talked about this and we're talking about it later today, um, a terrific array of plug-in electric vehicles available for consumers to buy. Working together, we know we can help grow the market for plug-in electric vehicles in our states, and we call on the auto manufacturers to produce and bring to our states the widest range of zero emission vehicles that American businesses and families need and want. Clean zero emission vehicles are critical to cleaning the air and reducing asthma attacks, heart attacks, strokes, and other harmful health impacts caused by traffic pollution. Every zero emission vehicle on the road will help people breathe easier. Governor Brown couldn't be here uh, with us this morning, but he uh, gave us a, a comment which I think is worth repeating, uh, which is to say that this is not just an agreement, but a serious and profoundly important commitment. From coast to coast, we're charging ahead to get millions of the world's cleanest vehicles on our roads.